Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2006 Chrysler 300. We're going to show you how to remove and replace the plastic cowl along the back of the engine bay under your wiper arms. This will allow access to the top of the transmission and rear components of your 3.5 liter V6 engine. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you ever need parts for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Before removing your wiper arm, use a small piece of tape on your windshield. I like to use painter's tape. And just mark the edge and the angle of your wiper blade so when we reinstall the arm, we can make sure it's in just about the same place. Take a small flat blade screwdriver and pop the cap off the end of your wiper arm and remove the nut. Using a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, loosen and remove the nut on the end of your wiper arm. Once the nut is out, push down on the joint of the arm to loosen it from the splines and remove it. Repeat these steps with the opposite wiper arm. Using a trim removal tool, remove the nine push pins securing the cowl to the cross member going all the way across and in the same places on the opposite side. In each corner, there's a Phillips head screw and a little plastic pin on this rubber piece here. We'll have to pop the rubber off of that pin. Pops off by hand and remove the Phillips head screw. These screws only need to be turned a quarter turn counterclockwise to release the hooks. If yours strip, you can reach underneath and move the hook by hand. The rest of the cowl is held in with metal clips under the windshield, which simply pull up to release. And you can remove your cowl cover. Reinstall the cowl cover. Line up the metal tabs on the windshield side. Snap those into place. Reinstall the hooks. If your Phillips head screws didn't round off like ours did, you can just turn them with a screwdriver. However, ours are stripped, so I have to reach underneath and turn the hook by hand. We'll then slide the rubber under and lock it back over its tab. Reinstall any of the nine plastic clips you have. Don't worry if you're missing one or two, ours is as well. Reinstall your wiper arms. They are different. The one with the shorter leg here where the hinge is goes on the passenger side. Line it up to the tape mark you made. Reinstall the 15 millimeter nut. Hold it in place and use your 15 millimeter socket and ratchet to tighten it back onto the splines. Reinstall the caps on the ends of the wiper arms. Remove your tape from your windshield. 
Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.